Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, we are going to be discussing something that many of you may not know who are dealing with Mach 4. I found out something today I did not know, and I'm a vendor and I still didn't know it. And I wanted to enlighten many of you because, again, there's a lot of money at stake here. Mach 4 is not cheap. For that matter, no motion control software is cheap. I think we can all agree on that. Um, I was contacted by a potential client last night who brought up that he was asking me questions, of course, about Pumotics in comparison to Mach 4. And he had told me something that I found really disturbing. He said that he had purchased a Mach 4 license from an online vendor, and his hard drive went down for some reason, and he ended up losing, it, losing his license. So he contacted that vendor again to see if he could get the backup of the license. Well, the vendor claims that they didn't have a backup of the license, and that they wanted him to purchase another license. He then went to Artsoft and asked them to give them, naturally, to, to reissue him his license that he purchased because he figured that they had his information. They claimed that the vendor was responsible for reissuing the license. Well, here's where it gets good. I said to myself, can this be? This doesn't sound logical. You know, this can't be, right? I did an open Google search like many of you would do. And I found this uh, forum post from 1218 of 2020, so we know it's actually recent. I don't believe forum posts. And why I say that is we don't know who we're learning from. I say it all the time in my videos. So I said, let me do some more research on their website. We're going to get to that. But I just want to read what this forum post states. A word of warning before buying Mach 4. Artsoft pulled a dirty trick and I'm not happy about it. I recently purchased a breakout board and my Mach 4 license from a very popular retailer only to find out Artsoft won't let me manage my own license. Had I known this, I would have bought directly from them. But unless you dig deep into their website, you won't know this. I was told that every time I try to activate a new computer with Mach 4 with the license, I need to contact the retailer I bought it from instead of allowing me the convenience to do this on my own. Here's the worst part. If this retailer goes out of business, I lose my license as well as $200. That's total BS, Artsoft, and then he goes into detail. So I said to myself, this is really weird, you know, as a retailer myself or a distributor, whichever way you want to call it. Um, I back up all my Mach 3 licenses. I choose not to sell Mach 4. Um, and I do that. I've always done that. I've done it as, you know, a common courtesy. It does take up space, but I feel that's my, again, responsibility to whoever is willing to give me their money. And again, like I said, most control software is not cheap. So I said, is this real? I go over to Newfangled Solutions, also known as Artsoft. I go over to the license delivery section under their terms and conditions. You can go on this site yourself and check this out. If you come down and you look at the replacement license policy, replacement licenses for direct purchases are available upon request if we are provided with the valid name, receipt, and email address used to make the purchase. Now, just so everyone is on the same page. When they're stating this, they're talking about if you purchase this license direct from Artsoft. In the second sentence here, it says replacements for licenses that were not purchased directly from us, but were instead purchased through an OEM or a distributor must be made to that respective party. So basically what they're doing is saying, hey, our OEM distributors, they're the ones that are responsible for your license. If something happens to it, if your computer goes down, you lose a hard drive, you lost a backup, whatever it may be, it's up to that distributor to, again, reissue the license. Now, I don't know how that discretionary method works with them. Like I said, I have a file on my system, actually on two systems, that I back up all my licenses with, and I've over the years found that to be a great courtesy because I've had many clients ask me for their license again, and I only offer Mach 3. I'm telling you guys, be careful. And he says here, or I should say they say here, we do not collect end user data from our distributors or OEMs. Licenses are valid as long as held slash obtained by the original owner, as long as they have not been blacklisted and they go into piracy and all that. Finding a lost purchase with incomplete information, and I think they mean to say is as easy as lost coin on the sidewalk five years ago. 
So basically what they're saying is they're not responsible to keep records of who's purchasing from a vendor. Basically, they'll only keep a record if you purchase direct from them. So guys, look, I'm not a fan of Mach 4. I've released Pumotics, and many of you already know that. And this is actually coming from a potential client looking to get Pumotics. I'm just telling you guys, whatever most control software you choose, it's not cheap. If you're going to buy Mach 4, go to Artsoft site and buy it from Artsoft Direct. So they will give you a reissued license if something happens to yours. If this is not publicly known, it's a disgrace to them because I feel that they should have made this publicly known to everybody. And I'm being honest, I didn't know myself. I could not believe that this is basically the way that they're doing business. But after reading that post, I have no idea why that guy would lie as well. We're starting to find corroboration. And again, just be careful. If you guys already purchased your Mach 4 license and you have it, my suggestion, get with the vendor you purchased it from. Make sure that they will reissue a copy or have a backup copy of your end user license. So in, in the event something happens, you guys are an SOL. Because I'm telling you right now, 200 bucks a pop, and that's the cheap version if it's the hobby. If it's industrial, it, I think it's like 1400 It's ridiculous. Be careful. Okay? So again, I hope that this video has been helpful. Um, if you guys have questions, require quotes, consultations, whatever it may be, message me direct at storm2313 at gmail.com. You can also message me through my eBay store. You'll see links to the um, both in the beginning of the video and at the end. I hope this helps at least one of you. Thank you. Take care.